In this movie I want to explain how you exploit the aftertouch facility on the DH series of horns. The DH horn produces after pressure and this is not always facilitated on a MIDI keyboard. The videos I've seen on YouTube tend to demonstrate the DH100 but not the MIDI facility. As you'll see from this display MIDI OX, the DH horn produces MIDI header D0 when in actual fact what we want is B0 which is a control change. In order to alter this we can use the data mapping facility in MIDI OX which is under the options menu. Once you've opened up the map go to the load button and open the channel after touch to expression file. When the file is loaded make sure you have turn on map after OK ticked and then click the OK button. What you'll find is, is that the horn now produces channel aftertouch and expression at the same time. That is, if the clone option is set. If you don't want this to be set, go back to the map, press the edit button and uncheck the pass original value on or clone option. The horn is then producing only expression as a control command. In this example I've altered the aftertouch of the horn to the expression control parameter. If you need to alter it to some other value to control say for instance your timbre of your filter you just go into the map and change the value of 11 to some other control value. The list of MIDI controller values is readily available online. 